Hey everyone, this is Darren from Daily Crypto Tracing. Us coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. We got lots to talk about in this video, guys. We're still seeing the markets going down. I know a lot of you out there are getting a little bit anxious, getting a little bit crazy, getting a little bit stir crazy in the brain, guys. We're going to talk about that. There's still a lot of technical indicators, a, tech, a lot of technical data out there that is still saying that we could see that you know this uh, bull run and the you know the length of the halving before we go down could be increasing. You know, there's a lot of technical data out there showing that it's not over, but however, there's a lot of people that are still feeling that, you know, this is it, this is the end. And don't forget, we still have people who are doing the tax wash, the loophole, uh, driving the prices down. We also have a lot of incredible amount of uh, leverage long positions that are still getting wrecked day by day, second by second. So let's jump into the content, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just the OG in the house, guys. So let's jump down the rabbit hole with the OG. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it right now. If you love this channel like I love you guys, smash the likes, subscribe, BYB. Let's get it. Woo! All right, guys. Let's get down. Let's go down the rabbit hole with the OG. Now, a lot of you out there, you know, I've been seeing that the you know Bitcoin price has been going down and it's still going down right now. So let's jump into the Bitcoin price and we're going to talk about some some amazing stuff, some interesting stuff. There's still a lot of technical uh, data out there is saying that this is not the bottom. This is not the end of the bull run and things could be going up. And in fact, we could see that this 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 bull run this ha you know since the having could be extended guys we're going to talk about that you know i know a lot of you out there are really worried uh and concerned about what's going on right now uh you know we're seeing at the end of the year we got you know we got a huge expirations in asia there's about a six six billion dollar expirations that's coming at the end of the year so that's going to cause the Bitcoin price to go down. Remember, this is not financial advice. You know what I what I what I'm doing is I'm not doing anything till after the first of January, because I think that we're seeing this whole tax loophole. You know, uh, is having a cascading effect on there on the whole Bitcoin price. But you know, and I've talked about that in previous videos. But the other thing is we just have to be careful because we may see a lot of the retail investors start to panic and start to dump and dumpity dump dump. So you know, I'm not making any moves. I'm not making any moves till January. I mean, I'll be very honest. I've taken some of my Bitcoin, some of my Ethereum, and I've moved it out of my hardware wallets and I moved it onto Binance Exchange. You know, just in case, just in case, you know, the technicals change and things change and then it starts and then it's time to sell. OK, so that's what I've done. I'm just taking, a, you know, precautionary measures just in case I need to pull that trigger boom, and uh, start selling stuff. So right now, the technicals are pointing to a different scenario. And that scenario is we are going to have an upside. So, you know, we are still seeing some 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 coins moving like Matus Dow. It just it went insane today. I mean, you know, if you look at the Matus Dow uh, token, let me just refresh that. It's at, it's 180 bucks right now. It's gone up 26 percent in the last uh, uh, 24 hours. So, I mean, I, I, I looked at I looked at my portfolio and I like what? And so I'm, I'm surprised about this. So this is a real outlier. But if we look at if we look at the Bitcoin price right now, Bitcoin right now, it's down to forty six thousand six hundred and sixty nine dollars. Now, remember, we have been here before, guys. We you know, we were we were here only last week, guys. Last week we were here. Uh, the week before that we were here. So you're seeing that Bitcoin right now is trading pretty much uh, sideways. You know, it's trading sideways. And you can see that Bitcoin right now, it's it's rain. It's really ranging between this forty nine thousand and uh and uh, 46,000. Now, it had range between, uh, you know, it had range between like 51 and 49,000, and now it dropped below that 49,000 support level. So that gives me, that gives me some concern. I'll be very honest with you, on the four hour time frame, that gives me some concern. But if I zoom out and take a look at the, if I take, if I zoom out and take a look at the daily, let me just clean this chart up for you. You know, I am seeing right now that on the daily, the daily chart, let me get that out of there for you. On the daily chart, we can see that between, you know, around about 52,000 and uh, 40,900, 40, 46,000 is where Bitcoin has been ranging. So we have been here before. We, you know, we were, we were, we were here, we were here back uh, on the 13th. We were here on the 17th. 
we were here again on the 19th, and now we are here again on the 3rd. So this is not the first time that we've been at this level, okay? And Bitcoin did have a reversal, did pull back to the upside. So am, am I concerned? I'm not like freaking out concerned, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I made some moves. I've made some strategic moves to move some of my Bitcoin and Ethereum off my hardware wallets onto exchanges. But if we look at if we look at the daily, the MACD here is, is still in the green zone. We're seeing the RSI is still looking pretty good. So let's jump into it, guys. Let's jump into it. So right now we're seeing that uh, BTC right now is at 46.569, as I told you on the heat map. Everything is everything is basically down. There there is very few coins that are up. Hex is up. Uh, Matus Dow is up, and I showed you that. Now let's take a look at the Fear and Greed Index. Now it was 27 uh, yesterday, and I, and let's take a look at where it is right now. So you can see right now the Fear and Greed Index is at 22. People are fearful right now. There's a lot of there's a lot of fear in the market right now. People are fearful. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of retail investors are thinking this is the end. This is it. That's it. The bull run is over. We're going to go down. We're going to start to retest 24,000. I don't think we're there yet. And the reason I don't think we're there yet is because if we look at Bitcoin, we have seen this price zone over and over again. And I believe that we have a pretty good support level around about here that's going to take us all the way up here. Now, if we can get back above this resistance line here, then we should be okay. So let's just keep an eye on it. Don't panic. Uh, and what I and what I would be doing, what I'm doing is I'm not making any 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 huge moves in terms of selling uh, Bitcoin or selling Ethereum or selling any of my altcoins. I'm not making any of those moves. I need to wait till, you know, January 1st, 2nd and 3rd and see what happens. You know, if suddenly, you know, Bitcoin, for me, my, my, for me, my line in the sand is around about 42,000. If we start, if, if I see Bitcoin suddenly start to go down to 42,000, then I'm going to consider, I'm telling the truth, I will consider drawing down about 30% of all of my Bitcoin and Ethereum. My old coins, I'm going to leave them, like my Doja Wozier, I'm going to leave all of that intact. But Ethereum and my uh, Bitcoin, I'm going to draw down once I hit my $42,000 uh, level, because that's kind of my that's kind of my max pain level right there. So let's jump into some uh, late, latest tweets, and this is from Plan B. Okay, so Plan B, he's still he's still convinced that we are still setting ourselves up to be at 50,000. So he's saying, I use models to protect myself from emotions. And this is really important. It is very easy for you all out there to get emotional, make some emotional decisions that you're going to regret. Trust me, you know, I'm not a robot. The OG, the OG is not a robot. I mean, sometimes I think I am, I right? I think so. But I'm not a robot. I also have, I also can get emotional sometimes when I see things continue to go down, diddy down. You know, sometimes I, sometime I, can, I, can, I can lend myself to panic. So that's why I have to set goals and I have to set targets. So that's why I said once I see Bitcoin go down to 42,000, that's my line in the sand and I will draw down. Okay, I will draw down. So that's what you have to do. You have to take the emotion out of it. So Plan B says I use models to protect myself from emotions. It's so important. Right now, most people, including myself, fear further decline of the BTC price and want to sell. But the S2F model shows a BTC at the low end of 50 to 200,000 first band. So to put that in perspective, you can see here, this is basically from Bit, Bit Harrington, and he's saying the same thing. But what he wanted to do is he wanted to put it in perspective in terms of those bands. So right now, we are in the lower part of the the uh, plan B model, as you can see here, look guys. So this is the lower part of the S2F model. And like like, like uh, plan B said, we're at the 5200K. So he is saying this is a buy signal. So plan B is saying that this is a buy signal, that this is a time to load up. And he still believes, plan B still believes that we are going to see Bitcoin go up and we haven't topped out. We're not going to be, you know, it's not like we, we had a blow off top. We're going to be coming down. He doesn't think that. He still thinks that 
there's gas in the tank and we are still in a good opportunity to see 200,000 K coming in and he thinks that this is a good buy zone. So there's a lot of evidence out there right now that is pointing to longer cycles, guys. So if you look at this, this is from uh, the this is from me me I can't I'm I, I'm terrible with names, guys. So don't beat me up. While well, read, right, reading glass uh, node form, I came across an observation by TMX C trades. It seems like the hollow ratio behaves in line with B, BTC lengthening cycles. So what he is saying is that the the cycle after having is lengthening. And if we look at the way that the people are hodling, it, it, it confirms that the, that the hodl ratio and the time that people are uh, hodling is concurrent and equal to the lengthening after the halving. And there's more evidence here that we're seeing that the halving is increasing. So in, 2000, in 2013, we saw that from, we, from the halving to the cycle top, it took exactly one year. In 2000, in, in 2017, sorry, just 2013, 2017, my bad, we saw that from the bottom, from the halving to the cycle top, we saw one and a half years. So what he is postulating and what I believe is happening, we are going to see that this, that the lengthening of the cycle to the cycle top is going to be two years. All right, guys. So I believe that the lengthening of the cycles is getting larger and larger and that is why a lot of people are still convinced that the top is not in i'm also convinced that the top is not in however you know when i keep seeing that bitcoin is going down 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 i get concerned and a lot of you are getting concerned but you, this is where you have to take a very pragmatic approach to things and you need to zoom out so if you zoom out on this chart here guys if you zoom me out you know, you can see that the overall trend for Bitcoin is very positive. We're seeing that the overall trend for Bitcoin is looking very positive in terms of its growth. And we're still seeing that Bitcoin is going up, guys, overall. Sure, we've had some peaks and valleys, but the overall tra trajectory for Bitcoin is going up. You know, yeah, we had some kind of Debbie Downer moments here. We went up, we got rejected, and I believe that we are going to turn this cycle around and I believe that we have some really good support because we're seeing that Bitcoin right now is just really it's just really range bound it's, it's trading in this channel and I know it's making a lot of people go crazy you know we've been in this channel since around about the 4th of December almost a month now guys and it's time that Bitcoin breaks out I do not believe that we're going to go down to 42,000 but once again you have to ask as an investor out there, this is not financial advice. Don't forget to smash the likes, give a super chat. You have to draw lines in the sand. You cannot just let things free fall and blah, blah, blah. You've got to set limits. You've got to ask yourself, where is your max pain level and what point? at what point do you take profits and what point do you do exit, okay? And remember, never sell a loss. This is key. This is key, guys. So, so some other stuff that's coming in as well, we saw the halving cycles. I believe that these are elongating and we're seeing that it, it, it did happen from the first or second. We added almost six months. So if we add another six months, uh, to this cycle it means two years so we're not there yet guys we're not there and that would mean that this would this would probably extend to around about june before we see the cycle top guys so don't panic hold your horses and uh do not worry uh in the house now, i talked about this the number of bitcoin addresses are increasing so this is very bullish guys we're also seeing that you know the number of uh, you know, leverage traders yesterday, I talked it was over 500 million. And, and today we're seeing that we're almost pretty close to 400 million got wrecked again. So, you know, once again, these greedy longs, when they get wrecked, what they do is they can't help themselves. They ape in, they ape in again, have other, and they set up other leverage long position and they get wrecked. It's like they can't help themselves. It's like they just can't help themselves. Okay, so it's just cuckoo. So here's some other information that's coming out that sets a bullish. So you can see that investor cap multiple subtracts the thermal cap from overall Bitcoin cost basis to assess fair value of Bitcoin as a deviation price multiple. So you can see in this chart, you can see that the green levels are buy zones. The red levels are over overvalued zones. And you can see right here, we are, we are just above the... We're just above the buy zones right now. And typically, 
and typically when we see these levels, we often have huge parabolic rises. So what this, what they're apostle, uh, what they, what he is saying is that we are bullish right now. We should be bullish, and we should see that Bitcoin is going to have parabolic moves very soon, very shortly. So I know that a lot of you out there, come on, guys. I mean, listen, guys. I know a lot of you out there are seeing what's going on, are are getting doubtful, are getting panicky. Listen, I woke up this morning, and I, you know, quite honest, I was like looking at it, and it's like what we're going down again this is really not optimal and i started had some doubt guys i really had i started had some doubt i had the emotions start to creep in you know into the brain and start to do the whole you know brainy psychological thing should i sell should i sell should i get out this is the bottom so what i had to do is i had to take a deep breath you know ooh, zen in a little bit i had to go zen a little bit and i had to really zoom out zoom out of bitcoin and I had to do some research, look at the technicals. The technicals are telling us that this bull run is going to be extended for two years. We got another six months in the tank, and this is just a consolidation. Why is Bitcoin going down? One, leverage longs. I've been saying that for about 48 hours now. Two, we are end of the tax cycle, okay, guys, and, and we're seeing whales and institutions are selling and buying back because they want to reduce their tax burden, okay? And what happens when we have the leveraged longs get wrecked, we have the whales selling and buying, it puts downward pressure on Bitcoin, and when we see Bitcoin price start to go down, we have a lot of the newbies start to panic sell, and that also creates a downward cascading pressure on Bitcoin and the crypto as a whole, and that's what causes price to drop. The other thing to keep in mind is the end of the year, we have a lot of uh, you know uh, future expirations coming, and that is going to have some huge volatility. So this is not financial advice, but what I'm what I what I'm doing is I'm going to I'm I've told myself, come you know ups or downs, whatever is going to happen, I am going to wait until. The first week in January, and then I'm going to make a decision as to what my next move is. Because I don't, I believe that the reason that Bitcoin is going down right now is because of the artificial nature of the Bitcoin price going down because of all the things that are going around with tax and this. So that's what I'm saying. So guys, just, just, just. Just chill out, guys. Chill out, okay? So one final thing that we got to talk about is we can see that this is a halving cycles again. And, you know, if we look at these patterns from the first halving to the second halving, we're still seeing that we have not broke out to the top and we're still, still have a lot of gas in the tank. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at some news and uh, let's get out of here. So as you guys know, we got the whole roadmap. Uh, they've announced that uh, Dogecoin is going to start to do some staking. So that's pretty cool news in-house, guys. So that is good news. Robinhood is going to launch their um, their crypto wallets beta in uh, uh, January. So if you're on the waiting list, you should have access to that. So let's take a look at the Doge in-house. Doge right now is at 16, uh, 16.85. So it's still holding up above our 16. So that's pretty good in the house, guys. So let's take a look at Shibi Weeby right now. Shibi Weeby right now is at 33. It's exactly on my support line. That's where we expected it to go. It's still being held and it's still being supported there right now. We're seeing Ethereum, guys, is at 36.51. That's where it is. That's what it is. Guys, chill out. And, and wait till after January to make some moves. We're seeing Matic is going down as to $2.46 as well. That's nothing we can do about it. Hold, hold, hold. Buy the dips, guys. Buy the dips. Absolutely buy the dips. Solana has taken a dumpity dump dump, but it's being supported at 170. Let's take a look at the market cap right now. Yeah, market cap is at 2.24. It's come down a lot right now. The volume is at 75.46. And the Bitcoin dominance is at 39, guys. That's what it is. Chill out, guys. Chill, chill, chill. And let's take a look at the Bitcoin prices right now. Bitcoin down is, is down 2.5%. It's at 46,619. Ethereum is at 3,655, down 4%. We're seeing BNB is down 3.82%, and that's at 517. We're seeing Solana down 4%, it's at 171 in the house. ADA is down. Uh, Luna is down 4.73%, $83. We're seeing DOT is down at 26.69. Uh, 
we're seeing that Avalanche is also down 7%. The Doge is down right now. It's at 3.8% and 17% on this one, uh, 17 cents. And we're seeing that uh, Shiba Inu is at 4.74. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's where it is. Don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter, guys. We got um, 3,573 people following on Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. Get the tips. Get the tricks. Guys, cheer up. Go down there. Smash the likes. Subscribe, BYB. You're going to love it. I love it. Let's get it, guys. And uh, don't forget to uh, follow the Weefy Wifey's channel. Do it, guys. Do it right now. You know you want it. And uh, she's got a new video that just came out. Boom. Meditative walking through the forest. Bird sounds. and it's, uh, You guys definitely need that. Chill out. Go over there. Subscribe, BYB. Zen Music, guys. Get it, get it, get it. Don't forget to check out my merch and merch. Get the merch. Get the merch, guys. Get the mug to mug. You're going to love it. I love it. Get it, get it, get it while you can. Woo! It's a great time to be alive, guys you love it you love it and guys cheer up cheer up god bless you i'll see you in the next one let's get it guys Woo!